Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry I've been away for a month, but and I haven't posted since before Christmas, but I've been spending January um, working on myself, organising our home for better things. Um, I'll go through all that all with you. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today's video is going to be my January haul, my goals for 2022, um, and just some other bits and pieces. So let's get started with um, my goals so far. So as I said, for the January, um, I decided to take some time for myself one for health reasons too because i i felt very sort of cluttered my mind felt very cluttered i wasn't organized with my videos um and i just wanted to spend the time focusing on myself and getting the month started um so yeah so as you can see i've now gone back to my natural color um minus the grays now um and for the last month um i have been getting my weight loss journey on track um i unfortunately like six six seven twenty fourteen um sorry my math is not great at the moment or at the best of times i suffered with um sort of a lot of medical problems i won't go into too much detail now i'll do that in a whole different video but basically it's ended up affecting my um nervous system like i i'm very forg forgetful and sort of things like that um so i've been like pumped with a lot of medications since um i take 33 tablets a day just to sort of like live a normal life but obviously the side effects of that medication is it made me put on so much weight within sort of five months I put five and a half stone on um and for the last sort of six years my dosage keeps changing um it's been up and down three years ago where um three years ago February where I thought it was stabled um i decided to join slim and weld and i've been there ever since but unfortunately with lockdown and everything like that my and my medication dosage kept changing and other things being thrown in the mix um i've been up and down up and down up and down like i'll lose two stone i'll put that two stone back on and it's been like that for like the last three years and um as i'm part of like the social team of sort of slim and world i felt like um quite a bit of a sort of a failure i was losing my self-worth thing and i'm not representing this group very well because i weigh people week after week and my weight was just going all over the place um so my self-confidence had gone my self-worth had gone um you know my husband having to give up to work to be with me more to help me out um just so much it just made me feel absolute rubbish so i spent sort of over christmas time just thinking what i want to achieve from life i've obviously at the end of this end of january i um sorry end of mid to end of november i started doing youtubes um because obviously I'm very passionate about Disney, so I wanted to share my hauls and so forth, my interests all throughout. Um, but over the Christmas period, I decided, like, really, what do I want for myself? I'm I'm only 41, um, and it got to a point where I was getting quite in a dark place where I thought, well, what's the point? And then I realised, like, I've got amazing friends, I've got an amazing husband who is my rock, my life, my everything. My, I've got amazing parents, sisters, you know, I, I nieces, nephews. I've got a lot to um, live for and 
so I decided sort of like this is the year 2022 is my year of getting myself back on track getting my head in, head in a good place because as you all know mental health isn't something to be joked about um but you do have to take the time for yourself to improve mental health um the fact is we're like my spare room which we use as a craft room for me somewhere where we store my aid so like my walker my wheelchair you know all of that and it's so claustrophobic and it was horrible i didn't want to be in the room i hated anybody coming over because we couldn't have them you know sit in a room and sort of show show rooms off and stuff like that so i spent the whole of and I sort of spent so much money on craft stuff, but I couldn't go in the room to do it because it was just too much for me. So I literally spent January decluttering. Um, I got myself an organiser and I've been doing myself achievable to-do lists every day. Um, so I've been working on that. And I also decided that it was time. Now my meds are as high as they could possibly be. I'm on the highest dosage unless they change them completely because they stop working at the moment they're stable so I decided it's time to sort of start focusing on my weight loss again yes I'm still on the same medication and yes it's a battle so what could be achievable for somebody in a year half that for me but it's okay because I'm not on a time pressure it's not like I want to get bikini body for July or anything like that I just want to start feeling better in myself again start feeling attractive to my husband, start feeling um, just generally f just feeling my best self. And already I started in, started back on plan um, after Christmas. I put on quite a bit of weight over Christmas. Um, I don't drink alcohol or anything like that. It was just because I'd got to a point where I was just so miserable. I was just turning to food for for comfort um but so i was back in after christmas and since january the 4th which was the new year way in until tuesday just gone so the 28th of january i'd lost um in total one stone i was in a negative because i put so much weight on so that meant i weighed more than what i did when i first started three years ago um, but I'd lost all that weight and an additional eight pounds. So I'm now on track again. Um, I'm focused, planning meals. I also, um, me and my husband also brought a treadmill because I'm very reliant on a wheelchair. My walking is very, very limited. But I'm now going on there every single day. Um, I've got up to five minutes, but I'm I'm doing it and I'm enjoying doing it and um, my right side of my body is completely messed up. Um, I drag my right leg. It's um, my right arm. I don't have the strength or the grip like I used to. So I even had to sort of like start learning to write with my left hand. All these sort of things um, that's been caused over the last sort of six, seven years. But I'm doing all I can now to keep my left side as strong as possible because... As I said, I am only 41. Um, I'm not ready to just give up on life. And so I've been, as I said, doing that. And it's something, you know, even if I can just do it a couple of times a day, I want to just get to that point that I can say I'm actually doing some form of exercise. So, yeah, so that's my goal for one of my goals for 2022. I don't have a goal in mind at the moment where I want to get to. I just want to get to a point where I'm losing even half a pound a week consistently because that's where it's been a bit up and down for me for the last three years you know I'd lose uh 10 pound I'll put it back on and so forth and I got to like the two stone mark and then it would just go up and down up and down and it's just driving me nuts so yeah um so that's one of them also I want to build on my instagram content my youtube con content um at the moment as i said i'm new i've only been doing it for three months um but i 
I'm building up day by day and I'm really enjoying doing it. I've made some amazing, met some amazing people on through Instagram who, who I can now call friends. Um, they live in different parts of the UK. They even li live at other places in the world, but it's nice that I have people that who share my interests because, um, in the UK, Disney's a bit hit and miss anyway, let alone having like-minded people um, like myself who is really passionate about Disney. So it's lovely, to, especially as an adult, um, they don't understand it and that's fine. I don't expect people to understand it, but just accept that is my my passion and something I've always enjoyed. It's not like it's a, it's a fashion thing because Disney's popular again. I've been a Disney fan. Um, since I had my very first VHS from my nan when I was like five, six years old. So um, many, many years, sort of 36 years, it's been a big thing of my life. Um, I was, in lockdown, I did get a lot more dedicated to it. I mean, I always owned clothes and I bought bags and stuff like that, but I never had the, like the lounge fly collection until sort of beginning of last year. Um, obviously I never done content. I wasn't always at the time we had a, a Disney store. So I'd just go in the city, you know, every few months, buy some bits. I very rarely done like the hauls that I have been doing. Um, but I've been in a position where I've been able to do that. Like, um, you know, we weren't spending the money in lockdown. So I was able to save money to be able to do hauls, um, and really sort of, really really get into it again and then sort of as I said October November time you know someone suggested to me to do it you know share it and um so I gave it a go so my that is one of my goals I just like to build up my followers and um you know share my weight like weight loss journey with you all and my mental health and how I'm doing and and in time, I will share more about my medical side. Um, so I hope like you will follow along with me and be a part of my life, my journey. Um, excuse the ums. I've uh, got a bit brain dead then. And, um, and I just love hearing from you all. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for like the support I've had so far. And I just hope I can just make it more enjoyable for you. I'd like to get myself uh, more of a, get to a point where I'm able to buy myself a proper camera to vlog better. Because at the moment I just do it on my iPad. Um, we, we, we're, we're in a position where we're going to start saving so I can actually go to Disneyland um, Paris. That is our closest resort. Um, unfortunately, I've never stepped foot in a park. Um, and we were due to go for my 40th birthday, but then COVID and lockdown happened and we got our money back. But then obviously that had to be used elsewhere. And we're in a point now where we're like really focused on me and my husband, just focusing on ourselves and doing things that we want to do and doing it the right way. Whereas before we were sort of constantly robbing Peter to feed Paul type thing. We're now in a position where we can save for things and really sort of really, really appreciate them. Because we don't get to go on holiday very much. One, it's it's so expensive. Two, we have to be uh, logistic as well because it's not just me and my husband pack a bag and go. We have to think of my wheelchair. We have to, there's a lot we have to think about. Um, so it's not, a, you know, I have to have a disabled room. So I have to think in advance because obviously, places are limited for disabled places even though they have them they go very quickly but yeah so that's sort of our goals my goals for 2022 and I will add to them um and change things up a bit but please stay tuned to all my videos and you know any suggestions any feedback anything sort of like so I can be more of a success with this um and you know what you do for you know if you've sort of got any restrictions with um exercise what do you do anything i'm you know i'm appreciated of it all so yes yeah, so stay tuned on that so i'll shut up rambling now and i'll get on to the exciting part of 
this video and that is my January haul um, some of it I've already opened and because I brought in the uh, sales I had some money for Christmas so obviously I spent it on Disney stuff and yeah so I will some of it I've got to unbox I'm also going to be doing a giveaway so um, follow me on Instagram and keep a post of all of that and I'll explain to you what my giveaway is excuse me I've got an itchy eye so let's get going first of all let's mention these ears I actually got these from I bought these off another um Instagram YouTube influencer she actually makes the ears but um so she was actually having a good clear out and she was selling some so I I believe she I know she bought these off somebody else uh from made for mouse ears um I'll put in the all at Instagram and everything follow for everything I mentioned today and all the links in the description um you know when she sold these I had to get them because as I've mentioned in previous videos Tinkerbell, Lotso, Eeyore are my favorite um char main characters I had some Eeyore ears already I have spotted some Lotso ones but I haven't got them yet and so I saw the Tinkerbell ones and I had to buy them off her and they're just stunning. I know that they've released a Tinkerbell sequin bag, but at the moment I haven't seen it in the UK, only in the US, which I've got my eyeballs on. Um, yeah, so these are made for mouse ears that I've got on. As you said, really sequin, beautifully made. But as I said, I'll put it in the description below. Um, whilst I'm on the thing, I also brought a second pair off her, but she brought these ones from Shop Disney. And these are the pastel ones. And I do believe they do still have these. And I know they're not exactly um, the 50th is at all, but I think the colouring for the iridescent ones are very, very similar to these so it was quite nice that I'd got a pair ready and they I love I love shop Disney ears as well because they are so comfortable to wear and I just love the bow so much um I mean have you seen shop Disney especially I don't know what it's like in the US but in the UK since the shop's gone the like website is just blown up to the point that I can't even keep track of it anymore unless I go on there every single day. They're launching things left, right and centre and it's absolutely amazing to have the choice now like America had because the UK one was never as brilliant when the shops were open but now it is amazing, absolutely amazing. Excuse me a moment, I'll just have a sip of drink. So... These are the ears I bought. As I said, I bought them from Missy Mouse Ears. Um, which I'll put in the description below because you need to check out her ears because the ones she makes are also amazing. I've got a couple of pairs of her, her made ones, which I've shown before. Um, I bought some clothing because I was lacking in the way of sort of smaller items. So I'll just show you. Some of the bits I've brought in the sale. So this wasn't, I bought this when this first came out, but there was a whole collection of princess word inspiration type jumpers. There, there was quite a few of them. So I bought the Belle one when it first came out, but I believe there was an Ariel, there was a Tiana, there was a Sleeping Beauty and... I can't remember if there was a Snow White one or not. But I saw, I got this one straight away. And then when I was watching another video, when um, another influencer, Hannah Enchanted, when she went to the Disney store in London, which is the one that is still open in the UK, um, she sort of done a tour. And I can't ever remember initially seeing this on the website when I saw all of these. But this was, I've gone for a bit of a Tiana vibe. Not one, she's not someone who 
it was always like my princess of choice but sort of more and more I'm starting to love the princess and the frog and so this absolutely gorgeous sort of cow neck jumper with these gorgeous embroidery on the back you've got a frog and then on the bottom you've got flowers and it's I don't know whether because it's now gone more online but Shop Disney Steels seems more generous with their sizing. One, they're now offering more sizes. So I think they got to like 3XL was before it was literally small, medium, large XL. And I always found the XL even for um, sometimes a bit snug. But I've noticed that they're getting more and more generous in sizing. I mean, I got this in an extra large and it's really baggy. This absolutely drowns me in an extra large. But it's really nice because it, it does hang long and it covers my my bottom. And there, yeah, so it says on the front, you've been kissed by, you've, sorry, you've, you've just kissed yourself a princess. Which in my family is a bit of a running joke because everyone says I'm, I'm a bit of a princess. But hey, we've all got to have a inner diva, haven't we? So there's that one. So I believe that's still on there. And I know I got it in the sale. I think I paid four. It should have been forty forty pound. I think I got it for fifteen. I haven't got the pay slip to remind myself for this one. So I got myself that. I'd seen these also when they first came out, but they were either I can't remember if they were forty five pound or fifty five pound. Um, and I do wear a lot of lounge suits, but I and. Um, and pajamas because I am at home most of the time but I so I, I don't pay that much for sort of slobbing about clothes but I saw these and I really really loved them but I wasn't going to pay but so when I saw them go in the sale I bought them and that's the princess and the frog pajama set so there's the bottoms and they've both they've got pockets in both the bottoms and the tops which is lovely and then you just got a matching button through sort of pyjama top. And they are so, so comfortable and so well well made. I'm so glad I did get them. Um, but yes, yeah, so I highly recommend re recommend them as well. And I think this was a this was the first thing I actually saw that went up in 2XL. Um, which was for me was lovely because I do like wearing looser lounge clothes anyway but they're actually bigger than what I thought they would be as I said sort of like with this jumper and the other princess and the frog one and to go with that I, they advertise it as a headscarf but I just wear it as a normal scarf because I do love scarves I got the princess and the frog silk scarf and I think this was like five pound it wasn't expensive at all as i said like people you can wear as a head scarf or a normal scarf it's so so soft so i highly recommend that so they were from shop disney i brought a pair of ears from simply be just some generic little sort of mini mouse ears I actually wanted to get, I didn't want to pay sort of like £30 for a pair of ears because I want to actually um, bejewel the pair and I didn't want to spend that much and ruin them. So I did manage to find myself some just plain ones, which I'm planning to bedazzle. So keep an eye on that. Um, so yeah, they're just on a little headband. I think they, I paid £10 for them, some, something like that. They Obviously, they're not stickers. The shop disney ones or even ones that you buy off other other makers but they're plenty good enough for what i want to do with them so i got myself them i am lacking in just sort of normal t-shirts i do have quite a lot of um lounge suits i have a lot of sort of jumpers like this but i didn't really have much in the way of just normal t-shirts and sweatshirts 
So I got myself this little t-shirt. This is also from Simply B, just a plain one. Um, I got them in the sale and I think I paid um, £6 for it. So, and it's so thick. It's lovely. And, um, you know, it's quite nice to have something Disney that isn't so always just the picture or of Mickey and Minnie or whatever character on it. It's quite nice. And then I got myself, excuse the noise, a oversized sweatshirt because I do like jumpers with leggings that, that covers my bum and I have Mickey ones but I didn't have anything mini so again I got this in the sale also from Simply Bee and I think that's lovely I noticed that there is a lot more of this sketched stuff out there so yeah I got that also in the sale and I think that was like £10 it wasn't a lot Next thing I got in January, which was a gift from another uh, Instagram influencer. Um, one of the people, Emily from um, Hunting for Disney, um, I'll put a link on Instagram. We've become like really, really good friends. Um, and we've shared, shared sort of swap presents and stuff like that. And um, she sent me this mystery box which was from pop tin and sponge and to be honest before this i'd never heard of um the mystery box maker but now i sort of follow them on instagram and this beautiful box came and i was blown away and it was also personalized which made it lovely so we've got like in there like a flan like a mini flannel um a notebook we got some piglet socks um in this one we got a get off get off lots of little love hearts, love hearts like a mini mouse pencil a pen that goes with a notebook um a bookmark also but the best thing is it comes personalized and um she got me an eel keyring with my name on it which also came in the box so it's really lovely like someone that does something so personalized and spends the time to do it for me i was absolutely blown away i was so shocked by it um and appreciate it so so much um what should i do next oh i'll leave the best till last shall we so what else did i get so after a second sale and I blame another influencer for this because she is a bad influencer. Disney Man to Kaylee on um, Instagram. She decided to do a live video of her new recent haul. Oh, I do love opening this box. And I I don't know why, whether I missed them in the sale or they added them after I bought my Tiana stuff. I don't know. But after I saw her video, there was a couple of bits on there and I went on there and I re-looked. And then I went and gone, gone and spent some more money. So, here's the noise. So I have a few, few things to share. So as I said with this and the Tiana one, there's a collection. And I got the, um, Sleeping, the Sleeping Beauty Aurora one. So each each of the jumpers, I believe, excuse the noise. Each of the jumpers are all sort of different styles. So like this is a thick um, velvet type one. That one's sort of a thickish jersey. This is more like a long t-shirt style. And I actually went for a large this time to see what they're like now. Um, so on the back you've got a rose and it's obviously in Sleeping Beauty colours and the saying on this one is we've met before and I would say I'm glad I ordered the large because it seems plenty big enough so I got that I also got myself which I didn't see before I saw the Sleeping Beauty set no, sorry, the Cinderella set of the joggers and the jumper. But I'm not a big fan of tie-dye, so I didn't bother. But I didn't realise 
at the time that they done some Princess and the Frog ones to go with the jumper sort of lounge set and one of the other things I sort of plan to do is that during the day I don't want to be in pyjamas just in case because I do get embarrassed if anyone comes to the door I'm in my pyjamas and I didn't have really any sort of joggers that I would feel comfortable sort of in all day so these were in the sale these should have been 38 and I paid £10.78, I believe I paid for them. No, sorry, 14 So these are the Tiana ones, just a cuff bottom, a sort of uh, legging style rather than sort of thick, thick jog and bottoms. But I thought these would be lovely to mooch around in. And that's. And then on the them, it says because I'm almost there, obviously it's like from one of the songs in the film just cream color and then down the right leg you've got Tiana so I got myself them and I also bought some myself some get uh, some gifts for people this is what I saw with Kaylee this is the bad influence um as you can tell I drink out of these sort of things and because on my bedside cabinet I always have to have drinks for medication and I do worry that I'm gonna um drop them or knock a glass over so I've always drunk out something like that but they're getting to a point where they're a bit of a sorrowful state of affairs and they're really cheapy ones so I bought myself a couple of new tumblers and as I said watching Katie's video this is why I then went back and I did another look and found these so this is the jasmine one this is always on the fly and you know you've got the shutters on there if you don't want to i believe there should be was there a straw cleaner with this one i thought there was but maybe not but um yeah so they're just big tumblers and i don't own big big ones like this so i won't have to keep asking my husband for a refill so i got myself that one and then this one does come with the thing and then it's a leopard print mini one same sort of concept um you've got your straw you've got your closable lid and if i remember rightly this one's a keep cold one yeah so whether you you put like hot hot drinks in it or cold in it that'll keep it temperature controlled which i thought was lovely and these should have, should have been 18 and i paid £4.20 for £5.40 for this one and £4.20 for the Jasmine one which not being funny you can't even get them for like a fiver in places like um, the supermarkets or places like that so yes I got myself two new tumblers I got Um, they brought out the whole a whole Tinkerbell set, which they got sort of a, a Sherpa fleece. I'm, I've already got a couple of them, and because it's so warm in here, I don't really need sort of Sherpa ones all the time. So I didn't bother with the Tinkerbell one. And then they brought out some slippers and some shorts, some a makeup bag, a watch. I I watch, and a couple of other bits, I believe. But I got myself a Tinkerbell. I thought this would be quite nice to take on holiday with me. And I also got it for a, a friend as well for, as a gift. Whenever you spend over £40, um, you've got a free gift. So I've got two free gifts. And I already own both of these. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I should open this box up. I can't remember how difficult it was. And I've lost my scissors. So the first one I got with my first part of the sale was, as I said, I already own these. So these two I'm going to be doing as a giveaway. And I know they're dated, but it doesn't really matter. So that was the snow globe of 2021, which, as you know, from my Christmas ones, I was obsessed with this ski lodge collection. 
um and i bought pretty much most of it so in the after sale they were giving away the ski lodge they were also giving away 2021 christmas poo which i've also got i'll keep him in his bag but I decided to do a giveaway for them on my Instagram, so do follow and I will uh, post it on there and then you'll know all the details. What else did I get? I got a little gift for a friend of mine. She's having a baby next month and I saw this. So he, it'll be his little first Mickey and it also comes with a blanket. Um... I know you can still get these and you were able to have them personalised, but as I don't know the baby's name yet, I didn't I I didn't bother with the with the personalisation. So that was my most recent shop Disney haul. Oh one last thing. Um I bought from the January it wasn't in the sale, but it was part of the January Shop Disney haul which I've wanted since day one, and I just had to save for it. But I eventually got it. it was the 90, the 50 anniversary iridescent one. Landfly. I got the castle one when it first came out, and I now know, um, but mine came straight from the States because it wasn't over here, but I now know that Shop Disney do it. Um, to have a look, proper look at it, go and watch my Loungefly part two, part one but i'll link them anyway um videos so i know in total i think they brought out four maybe even five bags in total for the 50th anniversary um which was a castle this one a blue one with 50 all over it the really expensive gold one with the 50 in the middle and i can't remember if that's it or there's another one but i wasn't that but i wasn't going to pay sorry 275 pound for a bag so i got the two i wanted which was the castle and this one and this is my first sequin one as well which i absolutely love only thing is i've got to find out somebody did tell me that if the ears are a bit lopsided what to do um but i can't remember what it was so i'm gonna to have to do some research or do comment below if you can give me some advice and as always, these are stuffed to the brim with paper, so excuse the noise. This one has side pockets on it. And I, I have had a peek at this lining, and I absolutely love it. And I think it's just so beautiful. So the same colour as the outside, and it's just got Mickeys all over them. It doesn't have a back pocket, but... And then obviously you've got the front pocket, your lounge fly, um, Disney Parks plaque at the front. This iridescent collection is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I got that one. And then last but not least for my January haul was a bag I'd seen. And I had it in my... Um, this come from Amazon. I'd not seen it anywhere else. Um, just one day when someone said that Amazon do lounge flies. Well, no, about Christmas time. I just Googled google land flies and this one came up and straight away i put it in my wish my wish basket um and then i've got some money back on some that we returned so i just swapped it for this and this is the first time i've got so i've not actually seen it myself yet so this is going to be my first view i have now no i'm gonna get some sweets this come from Amazon, but they got it from Truffle Shuffle, which is a shop um, that does like Harry Potter, all retro stuff. And I've bought a couple of bags from them before. Um, but as I already had this in my wish list, I just bought from Amazon. So, and I've now seen that um, one of the other people who I sort of friends with she's now just gone and got it as well and she showcased it last week um hannah and charlotte i'll link her videos so i now have, i know now what it looks like properly it feels so nice and i know this is very christmasy but i don't care 
but I'm now slightly obsessed with sequin bags. And this, oh, I believe they done, bought out a similar one a little while ago, but that was sort of more of a maroon red. And this is sort of a scarlet Christmas red. So you've got the sequins all over and the front, and then at the back you've sort of got a sheen, iridescent red on the bottom. You've got, and then it's the same sort of matching bow. I I don't have many bags with charms on, so it's lovely when I do get one. And then I know, as I said, why they're dedicated for sort of Christmas time because of the snowflake. But hey, if I don't go to Disneyland at Christmas time, I'll still be taking it because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Um, got side pockets on this. Excuse me. Um, I know a lot of people have said about, I've seen a couple other people about this video, about the lining, and I now can see why. Because it's, I don't know, it's sort of a bit like the outside bit, and already sort of the Mickeys are a bit scratched and stuff. Which, and there's no inside pocket, so it feels like I would have to put one of them lounge fly protectors inside of it to put my bits in because I think if any keys or anything, especially as it's not got no inside pocket, if keys or anything get on that, then that's going to really scratch off. So it's definitely probably, it won't be an everyday bag, that's for sure. And then you've just got like silver hardware with a little hidden Mickey on the which is also nice, on the little tag there. So, yeah, that's the inside of it. And I don't know if you can see what I mean. Look at the little Mickey right there. He's already scratched. I might have to ponder this because I don't know if I'm going to be happy with that or not. I'll contact the seller and um, see what they suggest. Because I don't want a bag that's already scratched before I've even got started with it. Oh, that's a disappointment, but still a gorgeous bag. It doesn't take away from the bag whatsoever. It's just me being fussy. And I know other people are the same. So, yeah, so that's my January haul. That's my goals for 2022. Um, I'll link all the descriptions of where I got things from and also the other influencers who have been a great part of my life for the last sort of three, four months and check them out as well because they are amazing and I will see you um in my next video I am going to start getting more consistent with these um I will put out on Instagram sort of a poll of what days people prefer at the moment I'm only able to do once a week um so I probably record during the week and post at the weekend but I'll keep you posted on that Check out my Instagram and keep an eye out for my giveaways. And until next week, I hope you all have a lovely week. Keep safe and take care of yourself. Love you lots. Bye.